un millón más, güey. Oh, let's do this, my boys. Let's do this. It will be easy. As a, as a true connoisseur of the fine arts. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I am... <clears throat> I am not as intelligent as I used to believe, no. No, 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 no. I can hear my parents arguing in the background. Perfect! Perhaps this will convince them to cut up for a minute. Alright. Mm. I simply delete this message and I just send it again. Because no one talks in general with this server. And then boom. You know, you you gotta you gotta be you gotta be fucking a light. You gotta be polite. You gotta send this to everyone you know. Is today, or tomorrow, as you know, it needs to process. Tomorrow, we start making money. Well, we start being able to make money. But if we fail today, we lose the best stream we had in a month. You, my friend, my beautiful friend. Mm, you, you gotta, you gotta respect the people. You don't respect the people. No one respects you. And I love all of my friends. I love all of my friends. Mm. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Shadowrun Dragonfall. The long-awaited ending of a trilogy of Shadowrun games that we are going to play. We played Hong Kong that I had 100 hours in. We played Returns... Wait a second. Wait a second. What what are my what are my abilities here? You know what? You know what? My my best man. My best man here. He gets he gets to be a member of my mod team, otherwise known as the only person to be a part of the mod team. He is the mod team. So anyways, we just need a good, strong stream today. And then, and then we win. 
then we win this game of Twitch. I've been reading the Game of Thrones recently. Why? Because I like reading. Let's see. Let's see. I want my orc. Why? <laughs> I got a very special fucking thing I want to do. Because you might not know about. Might, might not know this about me. But me? Come on. Me? I am a... I'm a very specially characterized person, you see. All right. All right, so. Looks like we'll be playing the, the pre losing your hair. No, no, no. I'll find the picture. I'll, I'll change the picture next stream. Come on. They all look this. They all look similar. I don't want to be accused of orc racism. But this will be the first time we actually play a non human character. So if there is any sort of, a, you know, racism within the game, we're actually going to start feeling. Because, you know, meta humans, brother. Meta humans. Of course, character creation. And we're gonna choose a, a nice picture, a nice, a nice picture from these options. Fuck it, we ball. We will be playing as always. We will be playing as the straight samurai. The straight samurai is a freelance operative who follows a code of street honor. They are learned in the ways of traditional samurai warrior and the practices of modern combat. Samurai sell their skills for profit and work to make out a dishonorable strum that seem to breed in the urban sprawl. Body, strength, or quickness, those are be those will be our main attributes. Look at that, plus one to body, but lower charisma, lower intelligence, lower willpower. Welcome, welcome to the stats screen. My favorite. I like the stats screen. Match so for humans and dwarves. Boom. We don't need more. We don't need more than an eight. Always, always grab the easy plus charisma. And we unlock. All right. So he, he was a shadow runner his entire resistance. What would you, uh, plus one more at the end but we'll pick up security and it will be just like just like wait a second wait a second but what if by what if i promote on this other discord server have i already promoted here have i already promoted on this server No, but I won't. But I won't. Why? Because I have respect. Do I have respect for these people? Do I need respect for these people? Eh, we'll see. We'll see. Because we will run in there. The body, witness, strength build. Now, of course, we'll be taking nothing out of, out of here. Because we want aim from. I want to be able to just throw shit. Oh, well, if it isn't Royal 47K. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. I, thank you. Thank you for joining. That, it means a lot to me. All right, so we, we do not care about willpower. We do not care about intelligence. Those are for our... Those are for our companions. We... We care about charisma, we care about our body, and we care about our quickness. Sometimes even strength. But yeah, we're usually a quickness build. Now we do have... We do have a, a few points that we want to dish out here. Alright, so I owe rifles. It's always rifles. Aim shot and critical damage and burst shot. Why? Just why not? We are Gregor Crusade Smith. 
Many runners use a street name, handle, or working name. Names like Half Jack or Lady Z. Better stick with their given name or adopt a nickname. Please choose a name for your character. Crochet. Gregor Crochet Smith. At your service. Please, call me Crochet. Life was good. Easy jobs, regular pay, a reliable crew. But things went south and you had to drop off the grid, put a bullet in the past and start somewhere fresh. Somewhere new. The promise of opportunity and an anonymity and anonymity draws you to the free city of Berlin. The flood state, a grand experiment in social order. Corporations tread carefully here. Even the great dragon, Lovir, only has so much sway in the constantly evolving power structure of Berlin. The perfect place for a, sh a savvy Shadowrunner to disappear and begin anew. And as luck was avid, home to your old partner in crime, Monica Schaefer. It's a third run with Monica and her team. An old castle holdfast. One hour east of Berlin, perched on a hill overlooking the countryside. The job is standard smash and grab. Crack the vault, grab the data. Get out in one piece. A mediocre payday, but work is work. As the team gathers for Monitor's pre run briefing, you pause taking your surroundings. The Harfield Manor, 2054. One hour east of Berlin. The estate grounds are silent, save for the faint whistling of wind. Your team gathers near a side entrance to the old castle, hold fast, cloaked in darkness. The night is peaceful. You know it won't last. You know it for what it is, a pleasant illusion that will shatter at the sound of the first shots. Listen up, folks. Martha Schaefer, you ran with her back in the day. You watched her get her first data check. Now she's your team leader. A dredge hot decker to boot. Yeah, that's much. We're at, uh, we're at a tight timetable. I want to enter the estate, find the basement, open the vault door, extract the files, and bolt. Ten minutes, top to bottom. Try and get in home. Worm talk, love. Dietrich. Damon, the old man of the team. He smiles at her. His facial tattoo is brightening in moonlight. Marta's, Marta's eyes wrinkle with mischief. Maybe. How many times have I told you? You can't try this. Anything that comes out of a dragon's mouth. That should smack, that should trash rot your brain. It's education. Besides, this should be a, a military security is supposed to be lied. A few automatic weapons, no armor. With a little luck, they'll never know we were here. Just like old times, eh? Like a smile turns. More wistful this time. The moonlight catches her face at a strange angle. Yeah. Just like old times. Glory. Milk run or not, we should be careful. Glory. Razor clawed street samurai. Her voice is cold and neutral. Her expression placid. Look at those. Look at those cybernetics. Damn. It may only be a private security, but their bullets don't know that. I can patch you up if I have to, but I don't have to. You people need to relax. We're professionals, remember? Might raise her arm and speaks in her wrist-mounted comlink. A darting face shimmers on the view screen. Aida, are you in position? The comlink crackles and the response comes back low and soft. So often you expect from a troll. Affirmative. The alarm lines have been cut, and I have a clear line of fire on the estate service entrance. When you exit the building, the path will be clear. Damn, a doctor and a sniper. Excellent, thank you, Aja. Just doing my job. I drew out. The comic goes dark. Martin wins the chill as she drops her arm. See? We're professionals. Alright, people, enough chatter. Our client wants the data from the vault, so we get him from the data from the vault. Quiet, quick, and quick. You said quick twice. Worm talk is on tonight. 
lower raise an eyebrow slightly. I told you. It's educational. Yeah, worm talk. Let's get my shin head on in. Grab a weapon. Yeah, I'm gonna grab myself the rifle. The AK-97. Alright, let's, let's take a look at their gear. Alright, standard AK-97. A flechette, basic. And a Boomona trauma kit. Ooh, it's a Boomona now. Alright, I think this is the first game to come out, so... I don't know what to expect. Alright, time to enter the building. <laughs> I know exactly what to expect. I expect war. War on every front. Keep the team alive, get to the lower floors. A private museum. Owner of the state must have money to burn. A variety of remarkably well preserved Slavic artifacts. Or, or, ooh. No, Jay Alat is still bring up all. The vase is in the chain. The vase in the case looks very old and very valuable. A fine strollwork of lapis and gold leaf decorates its exterior, and the interior shimmers with the organic beauty of abalone shell. The first to probably move this thing in a heartbeat. You can't help but notice that the glass is in case. The glass in case and looks awfully flimsy. Later, don't want to alert the guards before we even start the heist. The chest, is, the chest in this display is decorated with inlaid panels of ivory chimshot. Oh, I noticed that lag spike as it loaded the area. Hmm. Alright, locked door and two doors. I'm guessing this one is down for the basement. What the hell? Turn-based combat. No, I, I know my way around turn-based combat. So anyways, all I need to do. And it was that easy. But well, well. Don't trust nothing. Alright, yes. He's a saber. Seven, seven. I don't know what Trump is doing. Ooh, interesting, interesting. Well, one enemy down, but any of them could be rearing to go. Ooh, throwing knife. Not a weapon I have to see often. Intruders of my position. Okay, this is actually the first time they've given me a character that has a throwing option. So here is what we're gonna do it. Okay, no cover, half cover, bit quarter cover. Alright, we do this the same way we always do. Carefully. You know what? This time we might not even go for bionics. Or level 3 bionics. You know what? No, I will. Why? Well, because it it's lore accurate. Alright, hop into full cover. She's a little short, and, but but that's probably like perspective, since she's very broad-shouldered thanks to her cybernetics. You know, eh, hard to see, hard to see. Aim throw. And eh, to move and attack. Oh, we should move and attack. That's cool. Dragon Slayer either the power of the Dragon Slayer aids all friends within a free tile range with incoming damage reduced by free. Ooh, interesting. But for now, wait, you can't shoot for here? No, you can't. Alright. Four damage. Alright. Glory. Show more you got. Razor claws. Wouldn't want to meet that girl in a back alley. Wouldn't want to meet. Wouldn't want to spend seven minutes in heaven, would I? Well, we'll see. We'll see. Enemy turn. Oh, that's Spartan. I don't like that. 
No Overwatch. Alright. Interesting. Ooh, let's see. Grenadier, Guard, Guard, Mage. Ah, I ain't risking it in a coin flip. Well, time to get into positions. I have no fear, I am the master here. Alright, Nage. Alright, the Grenadier is probably gonna shoot a Dutch. How do I know these things? I was expecting him to throw a grenade, but... Eh. Shoot, shoot. Holy shit, this man is out in the open. He must be clinically insane. The thing he can just run up on us. Who does he believe we are? I want this mage out of the fight. Hmm, cover. Ah, uh, the Sa wait, the Savaretti Guardian? Ah, I thought it was an I thought this was an Ares Alpha. Damn, must have changed a lot of things. Ah yeah, well. And that's why Glory has mechanical hands. Ooh, like Nelly. Hmm, interesting. Hmm. Oh, it's the apocalypse. Oh, damn. Who oh, damn. Well, yeah, it's a pile of bones. Death artifact, death spirit. Chance to escape 13%. Alright. Uh, eat that mage. All right, are, are the sound effects too loud? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, let's see. All enemies within range free speed. Mm. Oh. Range attack. Missed. Flank the enemy. Give them something to shoot at that isn't us. Ooh, he's flanked. And we miss. He's flanked out in the open and we miss. We oh, you're that far away. Damn. Well, flanked? Flanked? Holy shit. Why is she the only one that you hit? I don't know. Wait, no... Ooh, yeah, only full auto has a penalty. Yeah, only full auto has a penalty to aim. Everything else? Well... Oh, fuck. That's a grenadier. He's gonna throw a grenade. Everyone's cram. Okay, okay. High intelligence. What can I say? These boys have the highest intelligence scores. Five damage. I am never giving you a knife ever again. 20% chance to escape. Ah, don't matter. Under my control, you will stay. And boom, it disappears. That was an apocalypse. Yeah, we can just, you know, summon an aspect of the apocalypse. No biggie. Mm, do we go and grab the ways now? When, when we escape, when we escape. Because while it may be something that will give us money, it can also be a very fucking bad thing. 
So far, so good. If you skirmish with the security, set off any alarms, you don't hear them. Monitor leads the rest of the team downwards into the basement of the Harfield Manor. Your payday is coming. Data vault lies ahead. Let's do this, lads. Let's do this. I don't. Dietrich eyes the door, then turns to Monica. That's a bad freaking uh, vault, Leibchen. Better than on the schematic. Schematic? The schematic didn't have a date. Our client may have old intel. Still, our instructions were clear. The data we we're looking for should just be on the other side of that door. Monitor comes a hand through her hair, parting it to reveal her black plastic sheath of her data jack. I put John into the matrix, a little digital hand waving, and I'll have this thing wide open. Be right back. A burst of static crackles through the tiny speakers on Monitor's comet. Either. Still in position outside the estate. Oh, Monica, who's in charge while you're jacked in? Monica rolls her eyes. Dietrich fixes stare intently on the ward door. Glory looks cold and distant. Just as she always does. Well, it is only natural that as you replace more of your body with cybernetics, you lose essence. Losing what makes you you. You know, what makes you more human. You know, emotions and shit. I think I haven't read deeper into the lore. I haven't read any of the books. My hand. I just hit it on the table. Ah! Pain. We've been through this before, Ryder. You're not in the KSK anymore. And that chain of command nonsense doesn't fly in the shadows. Oh, it certainly does. We don't need rules and regulations to guide us. The same principle that it fly to the flood state. Please pray me, the Archer. Your politics have nothing to do with us. Where's your news to a tide, your love? Deccan 2. Ah. Look, it's a simple question. Here's the experience done with it, needs an answer. Yeah, oh, oh, I just right, Monitor. We should just, you know, just in case. Marta stares at you for a moment, clear irritated, then the twinkle appears in her eye again. She smiles at you and speaks into her calm language. Oh, you bitch. Very well, we'll do this Iger's way. Well, I'm jacked in. Trache is in charge. Trache, did you hear you? You're putting the rookie in command? <laughs> Every one of these is a good. There's a pause. Did I hear you? You're putting the rookie in command? I thought you were pro. I just question those in front of the team. I'm no rookie and you know it. Nah, you asked for a decision and you don't want. This is ridiculous. I know this is a joke to you, Marta, but I'm telling you. I got... Uh, Marta still is all business. Evidently, she has heard enough. The decision's made. Why can't I say decision? The fuck is wrong with you? You have your answer. Acknowledged. Without another word, I just image flickers and fades from our communicator. No matter. It can be inflexible. The legacy of a long military career. But she knows what she's doing. And she means well. Wait a bloody second. I didn't get a second. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, bloody hell. I didn't get a second... Etiquette selection. That's a human bonus. Fuck. Maybe. I don't know. Sorry about that. It's going to be inflexible. The legacy of a long military career. But she knows what she's doing. And she means well. It's a legitimate concern. She already knows me. Much as I know. There's a thin line between concern and, sub and insubordination. You'll let me know if she crosses it. Lucky enough, Shatter, let's get this done. Marta turns towards the door, fingers poised on the control for Cybertech. Then glance back at you with a grin. See you on the other side. Then she punches in, projecting her consciousness into the cyberspace, her fingers harmonizing in the smooth, rhythmic staccato that only an expert deco, deca can achieve. Oh, are we going into the cyberspace? 
Well, she's fucked. Without warning, Monica's back arches violently and her head shakes back, silencing her teleport screams. Muscle spasm ripple from her face and her jaw snap, sending a mist of blood spraying from between her teeth. You look down to see a nub of pink flesh hit the floor, the tip of her tongue. Shit. The rumor explodes into action, Lauren leaps towards Monica, her hand out straight to yank the cord from her data jack. Then she searches forward to wrap the team's fallen deck in her bare heart, holding her against the convulsions that wreck her body. With Monica on Earth, with Monica's unearthly scream still ringing sharply in your head, you're only dimly aware of the door slamming shut behind, slamming shut behind you. All right. Yeah, fuck it. We pulled the plug. While Glory holds Marcus head steadily, you snatch the core from the trinets. Marcus data jack to her cyber deck. Without a moment's no hesitation, you give a solid yank. The core comes free. A wisp of oily blue smoke traces its way from her data jack to the ceiling. The common blood scent of a charred meat and ozone fill the air. You've seen the effects of biofeedback before, but nothing like this. Silently, Mo suddenly, Monica's eyes. There it is! Biotech free! Fuck! We usually grab it later so we can see enemy HP. Why is it that we need biotech free now? Oh, God! Monica's eyes flutter open. Ah, my day? It's been going swimmingly. I pulled a muscle. I, yesterday, I trained today despite it. Why? Because I feel... Wait. Wait a bloody second. Oh, you... Oh, yeah, I, need to, I need to move this. I need to move, I need to move this to the left-hand side. Why? Because otherwise, you can't see... If there's chat, you can't see. You can't see the text. You see the muscles in her jaw... Oh, wait. Uh, okay. Muscle tremors mu continue to distort her face, and blood oozes between her lips. You see the muscles in her jaw tensing and look for concentration in her eyes. She's struggling to speak. And stay with us, okay? We're gonna get you out of here. She's gonna bite me. Save your breath. Lower your voice. Strained. She's had a stroke. A bad one. She'll be dead before we even back to the van. Anything we can do to help her? I know what I'm going to do. Derek leans in close, his nose hovering inches away from Monica's. His voice is soft, almost a whisper. Leishman, it's Dietrich. Tell me what did this to you. Slowly, painfully, Monica wrestles her jaw open. The blood welled up in her mouth comes pouring out in a slick, covering her chest. She expels a thick, general sound that might have been a word. Satisfied, she closed her eyes and forced her mouth to make the shapes she needs. The fear. With an effort, Monica opens her eyes again and meets yours. You see pain and fear in her gaze and something else. Hope. Berlusche A sudden spasm jerks Monica's head back. Again, she grunts, then her drops to the floor. Then her chin drops to her chest and her head rolls to one side. Her eyes fix on an object in the next room, a computer terminal. The soft light of a cursor blinks in it, but it's recess screen. Slowly she attempts to speak again, but only the, the only sound that emerges is a long, strained croak. A look of resignation washes over Michael's face and she stops fighting. Her jaw slid jaw goes slack and she dies. We lost our Decker. Well, I don't know. This can't be happening. This can't be happening. We got hostiles. The clear is in data vault. We get out of here fast. Well, can go back. The only path? Forwards. Security guard. Security guard. Heavy cover. Oh, they switched to two now. All right. Come on, come on, come on. Close for his combat be like. He's now bleeding. 
Mm. No good shot. This will cost me one. Okay, okay. Hmm. Get into cover. The enemy's out of position. We'll have to use moves. Yeah. Missed. We go forwards. 10 damage. Straight to the face. Slash. Kill him. Terminal active. Come on, I believe in you. Dash deck. Terminal. And CPOS. Building maintenance software version 1.01. .01. Command line interface. Internal memory. Check some invalid. Touche. 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 Miss Emma is printing your name over and over again, Shay. We have better get over here. Oh, she uploaded her consciousness. Maybe. And <laughs> that you okay. They see the door behind they see the door behind us. We're gonna find no way out of here. What are you gonna do? Mark was trying to tell me something about this terminal. It must be important. I have any idea something tells me we're gonna have more company soon. I know. Watch from back while I figure this shit out. Dex proceeds to stroll down the terminal screen. A problem has detected with a core component of MCPOS. Restore MCPOS to factory default setting. Yes, no. Warning, restore process will take several minutes to exit command doors and peripherals will be disarmed when complete. Hit the Y key. Processing request. Zilla present complete. As you watch, the number of strings slowly begins. It's going to begin. It's going to take a while. You glance down at the second screen to see that the facility is on high alert. In the place of a simple data vault, it seems you've stumbled upon some kind of massive underground complex. A map of the hold fast rounds indicates that security forces are en route from multiple angels. The door currently being rebooted. But the system's restore processes are flashing a dull red. If you're in this display correctly, the only exit from this room is the holdfast old servant's entrance on the western side of the building. At that moment, Iger image, Iger's image winks onto your comment with a crackling sound. The image is draining, flickering, and uh, what's going on there? Okay, talk to me. Watch us down, Iger. The vault was a setup. What? I'm sorry, we couldn't save her. Now we'll have to get out of here. Look for an old servant's entrance to the west side of the main grounds. You're in the we'll be in the view with you there. Either sounds a stitch, but they finally respond. Her tone is professional. Roger that. She got sail with another wood. Laura turns to face you. Her moment smooth and robotic. Her voice comes out in a frosty monotone. What's the play, Trisha? Want to find a way to open the doors? It's going to take some time. Now to pain expression lightens a bit. Of course she did. That's the room I get out of here alive. Now let's find some current wait for the door lock to disarm. Thank you, Leichman. Alright, we have to survive for 10 turns. Yeah. Anyway, let me just grab, put myself into cover. Uh, I expect nothing will come from there. Something might come from there, so... And you will be running support for both sides. Nothing here yet. Alright, one guy with a pistol. Ooh, a drone. All right, target at Wyatt. You think I don't know that I just need to kill this man? Okay, it looks like I don't need to just kill that guy. I need to kill slightly more than that guy. Oh shit. Oh, that's a shotgun. That's a shotgun right on my ass. 
Let me get rid of that grenadier first. Dyson. Five damage. Crit. Uh, yeah. Go in. With your blades. Miss. Doesn't matter. He'll have to reposition. Nine damage flanked. New enemies, but from what side? Maybe here? Mm. Wounded, heal yourself. And that's a 33. Alright, so nothing there. Oh, that's a long shot. Dead eye, baby. That's a. That was free damage. He's about to get sliced and diced. Five damage and bleed. Five damage and bleed. No shred. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Security captain. That man's arm put up. Alright, so this just got a little more interesting. Dead. One. Two. He should be dead. Ah, Christ. The figure loping towards you is big, even for an orc. The majority of his body is sheathed in a suit of heavy, overlapping plates. What you can see is his face looks raw and slick, a old straw tissue stretched tight over the straw. He wears an expression of supreme confidence. Alright, friends, playtime's over. Oh, your shadow runners are the same, stalking, sneaking, still a ways or two from the museum. No harm. Maybe I'll let you stamp your way into the night. But now it's too late for that sort of generosity. Visitors, Alan, welcome down here. The JP Mob is many done jerps upwards. They impa an impatient gesture, loaded with malice. Drop your weapons in Shulenda. That's what the Red Army is wearing, to shame. Hardened in small arms, while well, we have a tough time getting through it. I'm less concerned about the armor than I am about the mini gun. Those things can tear a man in half. You're three seconds before I've opened the hose. Step out here and surrender, and I promise you'll make this easy. How about you drop your enormous gun and step over here instead? Funny. You're a funny guy. The orc's gauntleted fist tightens, and you hear the distinctive burr of his vindicator's motor spinning up to speed. The barrel begins to blur as he wheels the weapon to face you. Yeah, nah, he can't kill me. What? I have, uh... I'll figure it out. That's a, that's a 28% to hit. Well, you missed. Get into fucking cover. All right, so I'm playing a little bit of a uh, ring around the rosy. All right, he can kill me. I am so confident in that fact that I am going to reload. I am going to approach, and I am going to pray for the fucking mist. He has approached me. Mm hmm. Well, anyways, uh, uh, see you. Now, my plan here is simple. Uh, we do a little ring around the rosy, you're never gonna shoot me. Gentlemen, he might be on us. Uh, do you have a flashbang? Let's 
so we have a 67% chance to throw a grenade the way it's intended to go. Alright, this means that you only shoot one of us. And this means I will shoot him in the face. This man's safe. He's safe. Heal the fool. Alright, let's see how much... I do to him. There is a singular drone. Alright, he's running back to cover. Not as tough as one would think. Oh, she can see HP. Oh. Oh, I am loving glory. The lone lords will loud click your skip route is clear. Five damage. My god, he's weak. Your glory. Let's see what you can do. Well, that was the worst possible thing that could have happened. Hit him for eight. We can kill him. Oh, we can definitely kill him. One damage. Five damage. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Oh. Let me just boost myself. Hit him with another one of those. Let's go, we have four attacks. Alright, but what if I do one of these? <laughs> that is so criminally bad. He bleeds for. The other side pause and she said to one one side from in his ear with his finger. His vindicator starts to spin down. Yes, sir. Now she runs briefly tapping his finger against his ear. Squads three and five report the main entrance. Do not let the intruders escape. With another word, he slings his weapon over an armored shoulder and turns to leave the room. Now try to run away. Is he really gonna try to run away? Did they seriously just give him an escape? Oh, we can't let this man die. We need him. Wow. Oh, fuck me. I thought I was going to be like the end of the level. Not that... Oh, sh... End of the set. I didn't know that was going to be just a door. The fuck is that? Uh, don't know, don't hear. Well, I what's that I do know, and I am starting to hear. Damn, what a casual. We have just thrown a knife at someone. Five damage. Holy shit. Try and hit me. Oh, he's using both. He's He went into my cover. He wants to... Ooh, I, I know exactly what he's trying to do. I mean, he won't succeed, but it's nice that he's trying. Trying to make me use up my action points to kill him instantly. Giving them action economy advantage. 
Now my first rodeo, he's probably gonna just charge into here. Or just about. Alright. Ladies, better get a fucking move on. Oh, lady and uh, gentleman. See you later, Tishi. One man army. I stand against the tide. I could just shoot him. A last farewell. I still have Easter. Baby. Damn it, uh, the blood. I'd rise from her corpse strong perch at your approach. And look in her face, it's obvious that she's already sized up the situation. I know this was going to happen. I fucking knew it. The room was a trap. Fuck. Oh, it was, was it? I had her teeth and shit said. What you thought about this later? For now, would I get the hell out of here? It's only a matter of time before more of them come pouring out of that exit. I just slapped the side of the van. Bye, on people. And Shay, when we get, when we get back to Chuzbas, Chuzbasa, we're gonna have a little talk. The Chuzbasa, home to nearly a half million people, and until very recently, Monica Shafo. Once a melting pot of cultural diversity, it's now a chaotic mess of wealth and poverty, crime and commerce, anarchy and control. It's also home to your own little slice of Berlin. A neighborhood that call a neighborhood that call locals call the Klaus Bazaar. A safe spot in the eye of a storm. The right back to the Klaus Bazaar is quiet. No one is in a touching mood. As the van veers past potholes and garbage piles, the glare of streetlights and neon sign plays across your window, painting the world in a kaleidoscope of garish colors. Soon, the van rounds a corner and skids to a halt in a narrow, crumbling alley. This is as far as Berlin's gathered streets will take you. Your team wordlessly de departs the vehicle, departs the vehicle and climbs down into a disused section of the U. Bound tunnel system. Well, it's kept secret, providing your team safe passage through Klaus Bassan. Your safe house awaits on the other side. Safe house. What's the inside? The question is in how deep a shit hole are, in how deep a shit are we? Can I profess that I love the sumo and so I can get drunk? I expect people in our place. Who the fuck are you? You step inside and explore of the disused Yuba Hall Tunnel gives way to a warmth of your safe house. I might wait inside. I see that it needs the gleam for recent lighting. Something bad has happened, hasn't it? You steps forward, revealing a pale and expressionless face, light glinting of steel rimmed glasses. Paul Amson. Your team's fixer and landlord, part-time major, part-time information broker, one of the most well-connected men in Berlin. His eyes sweep across the team as he takes it all in. The dream face of the hard stairs, Iger's fury, monitors absence. I had a feeling. How did she? His face has gone ashen. He swallows, takes a moment to chew on the wounds before spitting them out. How did it happen? Something well secure to the brain. It was too quick to be a black icing. Something involved the jury system got her while she was jacked in. It was over in an instant. I've seen more black icing before. This is something worse. Blur nods her motions, her body can spare. More to that of biofeedback can do a stroke. Ear dressed by a glove finger and into your chest. And then, that's true. And then this idiot stood by and let it happen. Say nothing. What, nothing to say about that, Ricky? You know, I've been in your place, Mark would still be alive and with us. Instead, I left her with you. Now, my friend is a corpse in a basement. Look at her. You weren't stuck in a basement with us. You don't know how it went down there. 
So this whole thing was shut out, okay? Shut it down. Fuck that. I returns to face Nitric. She towers over him, but he stands his ground. I respect you, Nitric. You know, but you don't have my training. No, no, you have. Monitor was good. She was the best, right? But she was also overconfident. She tried. She treated the job like it was a game. Do that long enough, and you're gonna get burned. Nitric turns her focus back to you. If you've been playing attention, you'd have figured all of this out on your own by now. You know that Monarch needed watching as much as that door. You're not fighter. I'm his voice is hoarse. He's, he's expression blank. Enough. Either push his head, heedless of the interruption. Her voice remains measured. But there's fine her eyes. How many seconds pass between Monarch's first to watch on her plug? Getting pulled. Four? Five? I do not know how much damage my feet, but you can do to a doctor's brain in five seconds. How dare you? You don't have to answer that. Of course you know. I had to die while you stood there and watched. This is all your fault. That is not. Am's voice comes out in a roar. He smashes down on the desk beside him. Either you're in change now uh, later, but I've had enough. We need to talk action. Our clan sent you into something much bigger than he'd led us to believe. I want to know why. Right there with you. This is supposed to be a milkroom. Payback isn't going to be the only reason we need to find them. We saw something back then. Something that we weren't supposed to see. It's fair to assume that we are still in danger. He pauses. Rubs his temples. And read. And to neutralize that danger, we need to know who we are dealing with. Let's review the events that transplant. The smallest detail to be important, so hold nothing back. Mark lived enough to say a name, Pure Shrenji. She fought hard to tell us. It must be more important. Amps seems taken aback. He passed for a moment before responding. The Firewing, this is. I expected. You have to forgive me this. Brings back many unpleasant memories. Lower raised eyebrow. The Firewing? The most terrible of the great dragons. There are those who would disagree, but they never experienced the terror of living in her shadow. He glanced at Laura. You're far too young to remember her, of course, but... For Germans of my generation, the name Falschwinge is synonymous with chaos, destruction, and death. Dragons of today are subtle creatures, full of patience and guile. Falschwinge was not. After her awakening, she went on a four months rampage that claimed tens of thousands of lives. Then she takes a deep breath, slowly releases it. There's a haunted look in his eyes. Those were dark days. Countless children, men and women, were slaughtered. <coughs> Roasted alive in their home by a creature, a legend. No for salvation and no end in sight. It was a horror that you could not begin to understand. What stopped them? I can't imagine that a rampaging dragon would just get away on its own. Eventually, the firewing was brought down by a man named Dr. Adrian Valtler. Well, with the help of the Lofty, of course. But it was experimental weapons designed by Dr. Valtler that finally pierced her hide. She fell in a hail of bullets and rocket fire and crashed down in a radioactive wasteland of the SOX. This event was called the Dragonfall. Saved at last from the dragon's wrath, Germany celebrated Vistles as hero, her own Siegfried, a modern day dragon slayer. My own family practically worshipped the man. And the dragon's fall was as important as an event as you make it out to be. I'm surprised that I've never heard of it. Those early years of the awakening were traumatic, idea. not just on a national level, but on a global scale. New species of awakening animals were being discovered daily. Within two years of the dragon fall, the active use of magic had returned to the world. A new source of terror for a bewildered public, and in 2021, the sudden emergence of war trolls gave rise to yet another wave of global panic. 2021, the coronavirus. <clears throat> in light of such turmoil, is it any surprise that Dr. Valtley and the Firewing were forgotten? Dragons were yesterday's news. He rubs his temples. Again, all of this happened decades ago. 
To the best of my knowledge, the story of the Foshmund is a bit of a historical trivia, and nothing more. <clears throat> All right, so Monica spent her dying breath trying to tell us about a long dead tragedy. I hear sleeps her eyes across the group, searching for a glimmer of insight to find out what she gives up. Any any ears as to why? Amos's voice trembles with frustration. No. And that doesn't make any more sense to me than it does to you. The dragon follows ancient history. Hushwinch has been dead and gone for 42 years. But there is one thing I do know. What our monitor saw. What she was trying to tell us. It was important. He was with Shredder's Trumpstick. I will look into this. I will find the answers. In the meantime, did you turn up anything else of value? Uh, after everything went here, we were confronted by orc military grid armor. It appears to be the head of sigility. That is not much to go on. The only details would sort come to mind and its mention features that I could look into. He was an older guy for one. From the sound of his old voice, I'm guessing mid to late forties. Pretty old for an orc. And he had skin drafts. Most of the skin looked like replacement material. If the drafts came from a legitimate hospital, there may be medical records. That is something I will see what I can find. That I know that it knows. It was a front for whatever the fuck was in the basement. Not much is clear. It wasn't a minor enterprise either. The facility took serious fines to build. In time, there was more in to it than we saw. A place like that then sprang up overnight. And all in secret, the owners, whoever they may be, were none too pleased by your escape, I'm sure. What else did you find? That's it. That's not much. I'm so nuts. His face is drawn and haggard. It is thin, I agree. A basement, a middle-aged orc with skin drafts and a long forgotten world event. Wait, we're still missing some. Who paid for this run? Absolute paint. I do not know his exact identity. I did not set up the run. Monica did. His face reddens. I warned her. I told her not to take the job, but she assured me that it would be a cakewalk. Monitor was approached recently by a man who calls himself Green Winters. He used to be a prominent activist in the F-State political scene. I never much liked the man, and I certainly never trusted him. But Monitor, she would do anything for her cause, anything for the, for the flood state. Winters swore that the data he was after was crucial to ensuring the future stability of the floods. And that was all it took. So he's our best lead then? Yes, most definitely. It is clear that Lane Winters has involved us in something much louder than he led Monica to believe. When he finds out what happened to it, <clears throat> when he finds out what happened in the run, he's probably gonna wrap it. We need to chase him down before that happens. Alright, so we need uh, Alright, so we need to inform the giant with it first. There is a man here in Charles Bassa, a Turk named Alta Bullard Zagazi. He owned a little soy calf shop just down the way of the cafe to This one is also a purveyor of information. I've done business with him from time to time. And you think he would know something about Glenn Winters? When I was trying to the associate with the Green Winters, I contacted Arthur. One of his people has been keeping tabs on Winters ever since. As I said, they did not trust the man. Best precautions in Alana, which should I go meet with Arthur then? Yes, tell him I sent you. I will do what I can to dig into the information that you've returned already, sparse though it may be. Alright, we did five karma. <gasps> Dog! Bro, look at that suit. Look at my suit. Ah, man, I look so fucking slick. Overwatch and Lord. Yeah, yeah, let's go. No, wait, we can't unlock Overwatch. We can't. No, we... I need to get the new attitude. It's... He's called Dante. My God. As you start to, towards the Dipsy house, though a large four-legged form 
steps around the corner. Didn't it? Money chest out. Of course, of course. They had to do it. They had to twist the knife. An enormous wand of indeterminate breed. A low whimper emerges as he enters the room. Head hanging low. Oh shit. Dante. <clears throat> they had to change the said. Don't worry, boy. We'll look after you. As I might just die, I'm so as well up. He inhales, but can't quite catch his breath. He started whimpering about an hour ago. There was a full blown howl. Wouldn't stop. Kept. That's when I realized something bad had happened. Oh man! Oh fuck! Oh, I hate I hate the game developers. Look at them. They just they just twist the knife. They even give us the image. Look at those eyes. He's so fucking adorable. Ah, oh, really twisting the knife. Ah oh, shit. Grab Monitor's bag of soy jerky and off the table and give him one. Then the takes the truth in his mouth, but his leg has no appetite for it, and the jerky drops to the floor. He leans into you, looks up more fully, pressing his ribs against your leg. And just the eye is going with you, Crochet. As he takes the right breath and releases it, then a slow, melancholy smile prays across his face. Yeah, perhaps a part of Monitor lives on in Dante. I think they're safe when you finish with Audra. Well, uh, uh, I'll, I'll to it. That's it. That's it. How 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 do you pronounce outreach? Alto. Okay. Okay. It's alto. Alto. Main Friday. We're a little lot, we can help us locate Green Vintus, and we can get to the bottom of this. And now I think we should all take a moment. For Monarch. Alright. Time to speak with Aaron. Lantern said as you approach, his agent face traced with a network of faint stars. The ladies have too many fights over too many years. Now he still all chains the degree of strength and vigor. It's obvious that a shaman you see today is a shaman, is a shadow of his former self. Despite all this, there is an aura of power surrounding the man. He raises his bottle, offering it to you. Toshay, welcome. I've got a bottle of schnapps that needs sharing, and we've got a fallen comrade to dinner to. The monitor. Prost. The victory in the bottle is crystal clear as you rise into your church and touch the kitchen with cloves and caramel. It tastes of sweet corn and walnuts with a lingering aftertaste of buttery coffee. You, sh you sh swallow a swidge, then return the bottle to the other side, stretch hand. He takes a long pull of the bottle and large size with you. Let me ask question, what made you choose to come to Berlin? What do you want to know? Why don't you tell me that you moved here from right... Rhinelord Megaplex. May it sound like you've done... Been there for a good many years, successful years at that. Was a man to wonder why you picked up and moved here? I had to drop out of sight for a while. Sure enough, I think most of the team is here to hide some, from something. Not me, of course. Given that shows within hiding from something and punching the smack in the nose. You know which direction I tend to lean. But most of the others, yeah. Even age is hiding now from something. Really? How do you know? Intuition. Get the nose for damaged people. Trust I spent most of my life running with and playing four forts who were damaged in one way or another. So I might have something to do with it. Uh, Tainer got, so things got heavy back in the Europlex and you decided to bail and head to Berlin. Am I getting that right? There's a bit more to it than that, but yeah. So I come back to Berlin and to monitor. That raises his bottle again and then closes his eyes and takes a long drink. After the moment has passed, he returns his attention to you. It all comes back to Elijah, doesn't it? So let me ask you. Just what was your relationship with Monica anyway? I know that you two knew each other uh, at the way back. But she was pretty coy about these things. What do you want to know? <laughs> Every question he asked. What do you want to know? Hmm, so are you a cop? <laughs> Monica was my friend. I cared about you. Ah, yes, I just want to know about him better. 
there were some areas of her life that have always been a mystery. And if you just shed any light on them, I'd be appreciative. I can respect them. So what was the business? We were friends. Right there with you. And the privilege to say so. She was one of the best women I've ever known. Anyway, I've taken enough of your time. And the bottle's almost done. Thanks for taking the time to talk. For what it's worth, I'm happy that you're here with us. Then she takes the final pull of the bottle, then tips it forward, pouring the rest on the ground. Rest in peace, Monica. We'll miss you, girl. Ah, oh, man. I... Oh, yeah, I can right click. Move fast. That. I. Ah, oh, man. You know what? I'm gonna go grab a glass of water. Take a piss. I'll be back in a minute. And just like that, I'm back. Save some time. By drinking water out of the sink. Instead of going to the kitchen to grab glass. Truly, I am optimizing. Glory is beautiful in a wayfish sort of way. Her features are almost elvish in their delicacy. There's something cold about her that you find some slightly unsettling. What's more unsettling is her chrome. Glory is rocking a heavy loadout of cyberware from head to toe. She looks uh, to be composed more of plastic and metal than she is of skin and bone. Ever since I uh, discovered the we, <laughs> we have to, we, I, every time cybernetics are mentioned, we have to say, ever since I discovered it's, it's a rule. In the shadows, individuals such as this are rare. Anything but uncommon. Glory Cyberware is first generation, but Glory Cyber is first generation, all of it. Bulky, invasive, practically museum pieces. This chrome was obsolete well before she was born. To shake, Glory ships are gazed you, but her obsession is cool and placid as always. Can I help you? Hey, Glory, how are you holding up? Don't worry about me. I'm solid. If you say you're good, you're good. I trust. No expression remains neutral, but she gain she grants you a very perceptible nod. What is with this company and them with their slightly perceptible nod characters? First we had Shadowrun Honkorn's uh, bow, strangler bow, which is he inclines his head a quarter of an inch. Now we have her. Or well, maybe it's the other way around. I have, a, I have a question for you, Lori, of a personal kind. I'm not big on sharing sport, personal reasons, you understand, I'm sure. The edge in her voice tells you that she's not interested in doing the search. Ooh, I am not. I am not pressing this. I am not going. 
I am not doing that. I am scared of this woman. <laughs> you see that Saibu way? I am scared of a woman who has more strength in her metal arms than I do in my entire orc body. Of course. Well, hold on. I just want to talk to you. Yeah, we, we just step away from that. Aija. I heard layers at you when you can taste the violin or stare. The player still blames you for Marta's death. Something I can do for you, fearless leader. We talked about monitor. Not right now, we don't. Don't push me on this, Trashy. One of these days we're gonna hash this out, but you can talk all you like about the trust for the killed one of my best friends, but it won't be today. Alright. Alright. What about here? Anything in here? Nothing. Alright. Alright. Oh, what's here? The front door. Is that a suit of armor? Why do we have a suit of armor? Nerfer Mitarbeiter. What does that mean? Who studied German here? Who studied German in the chat? Who can translate that? Ooh. We have a summon space. Is that no? It's it's ash. All right, we have. They like this building. This they like this, sir. They like this corridor circle on the edge. They like that design. Malit Howley. All right, you're familiar with all of our brooches. Damn, this game is really good at predicting the future. Look at that haircut. The dwarvish tech vendor smiles at you with a practice ease. Her almond eyes twink with a glare from a dozen trid screens. She speaks in a clipped, heavy accented German. Welcome to the data heaven. Can I help you with something? I'm in the march for something exotic. We're trying to take you care. And everything. Need a new dirt, some software. Perhaps I'm your girl. Or maybe you're a ledger, like I am. Perhaps I can interest you in a new drone or two. I'm just browsing, don't mind me. Alright, so she's our resident techie. Oh. Donations for the soup kitchen have slowed, Samuel. So, I'm not surprised. Altruism often comes with an expiration date. <laughs> Samuel Backenbaugh. Oh, interesting. There's a story here. Ah, Nort. At the sound of your approach, the orc turns to face you. He wears a severe expression, but there is stainless in his eyes. Do not talk about that orc. Is it something that you know for you? I don't know, but over here, a conversation. I take it that you run a charity of some sort? He nods. Yes, it isn't much, but we do what we can. Such a new specifics. It is rotten. They begin to count off on his fingers. In the past several years, I have established a shelter when the dispute. Oh, wait. Fuck. Oh. Aha. I muted that one. Probably. I should check if I muted myself by accident. Phew. We did. We did. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Ooh. I was worried there for a minute. For a second. In the past several years, I have established this shelter where the dispossessed can sleep. A soup kitchen to feed the hunter. And a library for people of the close bazaar to better themselves. It isn't much, I admit, but it's a start. A good start, Samuel. You must be hard on yourself. There are limits to what one man can, even a determined man, can accomplish. That is true. That was some of the residents that I've helped over the years have come back around to help me. I've done 15 assorted orcs and trolls from all around the close bazaar working with me now. They help me man the soup line, stock the library shelves, and do all the do all of the hundreds of other little things that a community organization needs done every day. These extraordinary individuals are living proof that we that what we do here has value. They are my inspiration to, to continue forwards. She beams with a compliment from her body language that she idolizes Bakima. Now, do you have any more questions? If not, that will bid you a good day. I don't mind it to self, sound self-important or rude, but there are many pressing matters that mind my time. 
Ooh, 15 assorted orcs and trolls. Does that mean that other races aren't welcome within your organization? Uh, let's take a rather narrow view of what we do. Yes, it is true that my assistant and all members of the goblinoid races. It is also true that before they accepted my help, they were thieves, gangers, and deadbeats. This may not be... This is not because they were bad people. This is because those of us with goblinoid traits are feared. Mistreated and denied gainful employment by a society that hates us. I hire only goblinoids, but there's a mainstream human society has great need for me to hire only goblinoids. The arch and trolls of the class of society deserve a place where they will be treated with dignity and respect. All that being said, our services are available to all. We wouldn't turn a desperate person away, regardless of that person's metatype. Even humans, the most privileged of all races, are welcome at our door. Isn't that most important? Hmm. <laughs> Your use of exclusionary language is telling even human. <laughs> I always deserve judgment. You're helping people, and that's what's important. I mean, these two are both, like, general, dude, yeah. I feel like I don't need in the community. I'm with you. If there were more places out there doing what you did, they have a less need for people like me to run the shadows. He offers you a slight smile and nods. I'm glad for here, say it. And I'm glad to have you on our side. Uh, do you accept... Uh, uh, are you accepting donations? Yes, of course, we're actually desperate for them. Truth be told, people seem more intent on taking care of themselves than they are in providing for the less fortunate, of course. These concerns are not unrelated. As poverty rates increase, so does the crime rate. Assisting the needy increases the quality of life for all. Alright, in any event, our shelter has some basic needs. The desperate need to be filled. The walls of the shelter are not insulated. New blankets will go a long way to keeping our guests healthy and comfortable. A deal would like to purchase some space heaters as well. With what we would like to purchase whatever you say. Or I have... Yeah, I have enough. This is incredibly generous. Thank you, my friend. Ah, uh, big deal, Sam. Do do with it. With this donation, we have reached our first goal. Thank you so much for your kind assistance. I'll put your contribution towards stocking the shelter with blankets and heaters. Not a problem, man. Please, no, don't play your contribution. You have shown a kindness at a time when few others will. That's something. That means something. It means a great deal. Alright. Alright. There we go, boys. We did a good deed. Do I get karma for it? No. I did not get karma for it. <laughs> Did I do it just for the karma? No. That was just a bonus. Boy, well, who stands a troll? Though it's a stretch to say he is standing at all. His great mass is barely held upright by two vintage prosthetic legs, along with a crutch under one arm. His body clicks and hums with every shift of his body. Despite these disabilities, his eyes are sharp and calculating. I know you. If you know Monica, you know me. Sure, I know Monica. You want hers, then? There's some, yeah, there's something you should know. Uh, yeah. Do I introduce myself or do I tell him she's dead first? Hmm. Yeah, I would, because I'm happy to run the run. I'm afraid so. There are, have always been whispers. I had a feeling, besides, my Thomas always comes around after a run to check on everybody. She's long overdue. And now here you are in her place. So she's either severely wounded or outright dead, which is it? Dead. The desert troll nods grimly. The servers in his prosthetic complain as he lets loose a heavy sigh. Now that is a shame. She was one hell of a runner, that one. And a good friend. I'm Crochet, by the way. Good to meet you, Jay. Name's Alexis Lane. What are you around here, Mr. Lane? <laughs> hey, H and drone mostly. And try not to be a bother. I'll leave you be then. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Uh, let's see. Simmy. Hmm, Simmy. 
Look at those. Hmm. Woman herself in the dim light of a dying street lamp is a waif of a girl who looks far too worn for her years. The mother Sapelia. She says there will be seven for me to take care of. Her. I need to see them. I wasn't aware of any convert or church nearby. She is there when I close my eyes. And I'm Maria. She says I'm to be governess to the children. You know, as the chipjack poking out beneath the young woman's unruly hair. Right there. The vacant lot in her eyes marks her as a likely BTL junkie. Lost between reality and, a number, and any number of better than life virtual constructs. I need but money to get back to them. This story sounds familiar. Captain Von Trapp is well known and respected. The poor dear lost his wife and the children lost their mother. A child should not be without the mother and the mother should not be without the child. Have you seen the captain? Lord, do you know Monitor? Monitor, is she one of the sisters of the Abbey? No, wait, Monitor. A flicker of recognition flights through her eyes and haze of young... Blah, blah, blah. A flicker of recognition flights through the haze in the young woman's eyes. Yes, Monitor, she's good to me. Brings me food to eat and tea to drink. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Despite the woman's persistent delirium, she seems to gleam meaning from your tone. She died. I'm sorry, she did. The girl drips her head with claw like hands, tugging at her hair as if she might pull her brain out for her skull. I don't like this. But I can't switch it off. The girl's frail body shudders as her eyes grow large. But she does not sob. Instead, she smiles in a sad smile, which looks to have been worn all too often. She would go to heaven, she told me, in a place for good people, stillborn babies and childhood pets. And she was a good person. The girl then begins to mumble to herself while fingering her hair that covers her jacket in her head. Yes, uh, I need to rejoin the children. Damn, she was a pillar of the community. I'd be surprised if it wasn't to... If this statue wasn't made in her image. A bizarre monument towers before you. At the top of the pedestal, the form of an angel stands. Its outstretched wings looming over the small park. But the material is strange and uneven, given the statue of cold Frankenstein-esque appearance. It appears that the artist has welded the monument together from various traps and pieces of junk. As, as you approach a small grim monitor of the basin, the statue grimaces to light. The drained face of a small young orc appears on screen. Hello, the Amparma Tunsil, the creator of this monument. What would you like to know? Statue name. This is my tribute to Victory. The victory of Anarchy! It is above the Cetacean and Paladin of the statue we destroyed some 20 years ago. You may remember from the history treads as the Suge Sal of uh, or her Dodos. Installation history. Isn't that obvious? The Suge Sales is a monument to hubris of the Prussian state. It's blown to bits. So someone takes a lot of bits and builds a monument to the hubris of Anarchy. I mean, what more is this say about the artist? I'm the visionary Sherbert Kunzel from the Linvenma. You might know me from... Okay, well, this is what I'm known for yet. I attempt to change that. Oh, I'm just born from misery, after all. And there's plenty to go around. It's no absolute phone booth. It's when pick up the receiver. A monotone pitched, adjusted voice begins speaking. The Stark Valnator's contact for the Kais is no more. Cache is listed as a follow-up contact. This is their only secure line to the skiers. Please listen to the following instructions carefully if you are a supporter of our cause. I am a follow-up contact. Damn. We go a long way then. Alright. We have phone booths in strategic locations throughout the city. Within each one, you will find a request post for specific information. If you can obtain a copy of this information, return here and submit via the port below the receiver. We will verify the authenticity of the information remotely and post an undoctored copy of it onto the matrix ourselves. It is our stated goal for this information to remain free for all. However, you will be compensated for sought after information and return to this location. I'll keep an eye out. 
and remain silent. Hand up the receiver. Okay, so that's a thingy we look for when we are outside on missions. We are looking for information. Much like we looked for data jacks uh, for maximum law. If you don't care, show Zach got the flash. Oh, it's Zack Flash. Look at him. It's always clearly been seen better days. It seems wetter than mass need. Though it has been stretched too tightly over his frame. Track marks line the crotch of his arms, and there he bent wraps knuckles. Despite all of this, it seems cheerful enough. The outfit's twinkling, buggered eyes out on yours, and offers you a broad smile, displaying a set of impossibly white teeth. When he speaks to you, his voice is seemingly deep. Surprisingly deep. To the third, my floor. If magic, but just that flash. He gestures at himself with a dramatic flourish. It's a magic man. Are you straight, mage? It's like, like a trouty barkula. <laughs> straight mage? Me? They look like a straight mage to you, she shaved said. When a smile doesn't waver, he wishes a small bag of pills out of his back pocket and dangles it before your eyes. No, Chilla, I'm not a strict mage. I didn't match my blood and match knees bad, but you won't catch all that shutting any spell, but... Let's see what magic you got in them bands. Oh, that a bit of error. I got your sand, I got your hop your nitro, you know what to... If you want it, I got it. Black leans forward towards you, lowers his voice to a conspiratorial whisper. I haven't got special contractions of my own design. But I won't recommend it unless you're serious about your night. So we're gonna conduct a little business. Show me what you got. Oh, we got Flash. Tell me. Oh, there's Timmy Oh, I love my Timmy Chazzy. And there's Nitro. Mm -hmm. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Triage Clinic. I'm guessing this is where we don't get our cyber. But the Shay ain't the type of guy that gets cyber. Nah. All flesh and blood, this man is. Dunali Meliotoli. Oh, Dunali Metpatch. The Romani Patriot is an impressive figure. An enormous man in his late sixties, burly and broad chested despite his age. His voice is deep and resonant, and his breath is heavy with the stench of pipe tobacco. The back the Devin but still look. You think that's some business? If so, I'm out to move to the med bed, shams, and munitions. If not, we'll keep on watching. I got your ashnade weapon, show me what you got. Ah, I like this man. I like this man already. Look at him. Requires range, combat 4. <laughs> what is this? Nothing locked? Ah. Oh. No, oh, except for armor, of course. But who needs armor? Katana's DM79 grenade launcher. Mm. 1897. I can upgrade to a summer plus, but no. Ah, uh, there's the road, yeah, 100 S. Street sweepers. There's the shotguns, the SGs. Sidearms, the fine super shot. These proper weapons, line for the. Ooh, these were. There's the air race predator. Alright, knew it was in the game. Katana. <laughs> Alright. You bar platform. Now let's go see this contact. About getting a little bit of revenge. Alright, so this is our techie. <laughs> Here is Brad. This is the <laughs> spoken like a true Digo fan. I'm personally a fan of the of the Super Warhawk. But what can I say? I like my big guns to go along with my big arms. Oh, look at this. This is the magic shop, I guess. Ah, Cafe Tizva. Cafe Tizva. Al Tuli. The man behind the counter. Looks fly past you and the dog following close behind. Dante! Oh, fetch his water dish and cups of coffee for our friend here. Sorry, Captain Black. <laughs> Dirt looks distressed. Very well. A soy calf. He dissed himself. <laughs> no. 
The man in the counter has broad smile and opened to me. Oh, I'm one of them, my friend. I'll let you. I'll let you observe your day. Would you like to try a of coffee? Coffee isn't real coffee, not soy chaps? Yes, the individual... Uh, for individuals of fine taste, I offer genuine bean. Coffee from my native Turkey. I like I like the Turkish. What can I say? Once had the Turkish ADC. He was rude man. We lost the game. <laughs> the chef only looks at you in the eye. The tone of his voice grows low and serious. He stops your fight him with it. And not for the general the public. Only for those few discerning connoisseurs which can properly appreciate. Hmm. I... Hmm. Hmm. Do we even care about this right now? Uh, no. We care about the info. Oh, Amzo. It's a 50 R. Oh, Amzo. Oh, Amzo sends regards. When he hears Amzo's name, it turns low as vo low as his voice, and his accent becomes less exaggerated. His eyes stay to no one look. Ah, well, they did. To express the harm, sir. My expression. My appreciation of his patronage. If he needs any more Caitlyn jobs, see to it in the future. I'm always willing to provide. Oh, we can go with I'm in the know. Oh, he's always a police and best your way, Herbert. He was hoping you could discuss some of the details of his Green Winter's order with you. Of course, of course, Hamza is still kind. <laughs> the bullet... I cannot say these words. The bullet guys it and said and turns into the bathroom. Jami, come. A young woman battles, bustles in from the bathroom. Her gum chewing is loud enough to hear over the noise of the coffee room. Ryan is... Bullet guys spits something out into the rapid fire Turkish. As you... Ooh, she's pretty. As you wish, Uncle, have a see it. Do it right away. Jamie offers you a shy grin, snaps her gum, and hurries back into the room where she came from. But our Jamie is arranging to make contact with the chef as we speak. This will likely take some time. My chef is a busy man. Oh, wait, I wonder if you would be so kind as to run a small errand for me. A try for Lily. I hate to trouble you. I embarrassed to even sass, but I'll be most appreciative. Of course, I'm advertising. No trouble at all. Then the simple, hardly worthy of you. I have installed a number of data taps to Berlin's fiber optic network. A part of my civic duty. You understand. These taps provide free matrix access to all who live in the two of us. <coughs> in order to maintain the, how do I say it? Uh, the anonymity. Each tab's protocol buffer must be reset every few days. I simply wish for you to visit each data tap and reset it. Simple enough. Yes, it's a simple job. Time can zoom in a bit tedious, perhaps, but simple. Just reset the tabs and turn back when you are finished. There should be three of them scattered around the neighborhood. First one is just outside. Look for a metal box with yellow arrow painted atop it. By the time you return, I should have in the information harm so requested. Jane Dodgesmith. Who are you? Damn. Hello, my friend. His voice comes from a man in chairs and gnomes is his own owner. And a booming oar, tripping in unstrained mouth. A fine day for a show, guy. Yeah, it certainly is a beautiful. Matt and story voice shut. The man fall in the chair. He roars a traumatized voice, doing all day in his own sweat. The man behind the gla bar glares at Dorchmouth. His upper lip curled in disgust. I tolerate him only because he takes his toy calf by the butt. Dodgeworth responds in a raucous belly laugh, apparently finds short pubes to be hilarious. Ah, Arthur, me informed. You're as quick-witted as the shop darn never. About you, if you want mine. Once again, the shop chief gets <laughs> to bow to me, you would first have to vacate your chair. The shop chief claps his hand to get glass in front of his chest. I shall summon a team of determined young men in the notch to assist with the task, but luck you will be in your feet by nightfall. Yotra smiles at you and his eyes, his small eyes glittering. Enough of this senseless bickering. You have approached me for a reason. Yes, tell me, what can do Jean Dudsmith do for you? What do you put up with this? Don't you have any pride? 
Up and up and down, because they amuse me. The fact that they amuse me infuriates my dear friend Data, who in turn hurls more insults. Those will raise his OHF in salute. And thus the cycle continues. It's, it is two years now that I have been your testimony, Sata. Two years, so Jeff, and strained patience, yes. I remain happy. And out there, it money. An ideal business relationship. Yeah, that sounds perfectly healthy. Bit your chance. Until next time, my friend. Living rent free. Let's do it, Dante. We must do it. Yo, kid, yo, chip. Alright, uh, he said it was just outside. Ah, there we go. Well, I am not a mechanic. Data tap, virtual buffer resources. Who the fuck is David? And what the fuck is that symbol? A pair of round eyes peer up at you from under the hood of a grime smeared winter coat. You recognize him as David, one of Club Star's street kids. Hey. Yet, yes, he plays him in the mid teams. Though it's difficult to tell beneath the grime and acme mirror in his face. You've seen him. Following Monarch around between runs, chasing her heels like the lost puppy, she always seemed to have a soft spot for the kid. Oh, yeah, Jay, I've seen Monarch around. I've been looking for her a little. I've got some bad news for you, kid. The kid blinks, a blind expression on his face. She's dead, ain't she? <laughs> There's blood over. It was quick. She went peaceful. That's the most any of us can hope for. Yeah, look. Uh, I think I want to be alone now. Hey, don't go chilling yourself now. Plenty of fish in the sea. And you won't be able to catch them if you're dead. Yeah, I'm not messing with some rando's bag. Especially not if she's dancing... For no reason. No, that's our flag. Oh. Uh, Alright. Yeah. We should, we, should, we should continue finding these boxes. Yes? Hey, there's sack flash. Reset the data tap. That is not reset. Hmm. Will there be trouble? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Nothing there. It's probably here somewhere. You know, making that a good old fashioned trifecta. Come on, come on. One outside, one over there. And why is the third one? I refuse to believe I cannot find it. Hmm. No way, it's on the ground. Bruh. Where the fuck are. Oh, yeah, it's Germany. <laughs> hmm. Not here. Hmm, how can I miss something so noticeable? Is it noticeable? It's a box. Oh, there it is. How did I miss it? I am blind. I am going blind. No, I am losing my sight. Oh, even more of it. As someone, as you are reset, as you are resetting the data tap, you notice that someone has duct tape a small homemade receiver to the system. I need a plug Daniels from the receiver. Put the e your plug in your ear. Why not? The sound of heavy machinery makes it difficult to hear the words that are being spoken. After a moment, you would find some. It make out two distinct voices: a nasal woman who speaks with like a heavy smoker, and a man who speaks in a high-pitched, breathy tone. You just monitor. Just need to verify. Good for us. Continue listening. A sound like a conveyor belt starting to add the noise of machinery, but you can make out later. And now it comes later. Then our next step. Wait, isn't ready to make a move yet? To be patient? See who steps up? To be someone more continue listening? What remember it sounds like near the sound of machinery. Some more of his vehicle starts up, drawing out everything else. 
A bell rings loudly again and again. It sounds like a telephone. We hear the sound of a door slamming shut and the noise of machinery sounds muffled. There's a rattle of plastic and the rhythm stops. The nasal woman's voice can be heard again in a same sort of da -da -da, how may I help you? Her voice her tone changes, becomes more bis I heard. Yes, he knows. I thought it wasn't time to make a move yet. What do you think I am, an idiot? The council needs to meet again. I know, getting everyone in the same room is challenging. Getting them to agree of a course of action is going to be even more challenging. From my perspective, the Klaus Basara was the only stable was only stable because of her. If she really is out of the way, well we'll, we'll see, won't we? John, no no, what can I say? Things go slow in the flux sometimes. Your sound of a door opening again, the coffin, the machine refills the line. We can't make out anything more. Very interesting. So someone So she was a pillar of the community. And now that she's gone, someone is waiting to see who steps up to fill the role, the same role. Uh, given the fact that I just gave a fifth of my paycheck to a homeless shelter, I am pretty fucking sure it's going to have to be me. I'll finish with you a little trifle. Ah, but sir. Ah, very good. Assume, I assume you had no difficulties. No, one of the types has been uh, modified a bit, though. Do I tell him of it? Yes, I'll tell him of it. No, one of the types has been modified a bit. So someone has been using this as a surveillance device. He laughs, of course, they were. I would be surprised they weren't. This is Berlin after that. In the flat, so everyone spies. If you do not spy, you will. How will you not? Who is in power and who is will be in power next? If you stay here, Flynn must learn. You must get used to it. When does the Turkish bath will sweat? As my aunt tidy me, as you always said it. Yeah, what else I show? Have one of my people look into it. I was listening on the tap, and something might be important. He eyes you closely, amused. Ooh, tell me. Oh, listen, ah, oh, chills. What did you hear of this civilian stuff you found? I turned major nasal woman and a high-pitched man. The same pleased monitor was out of the picture. The church face falls. Mm, news fa travels fast in Berlin. These two are known to me. Is them all? The one got a call. She talked about a council meeting tonight to decide if they should make a move. And she was drowned out by her machinery. He nods grimly. Most excellent. It is indeed for it is that you discovered that information, though it is not unexpected. I'll have one of my people attend this council meeting and report back. Sounds good. Keep me in the loop again. With that out of the way, let us return to our most pressing business. The barracks a steamy stream of rapid fire Turkish and the jump chewing young woman comes hurling out of the cart. The menu for her answer, Uncle. Tammy hands you a folded piece of paper inside his memory stick. Please extend my consolations to him. The death of Fallen Schneifer must have hit him hard. But it is Jamie a small nod and she hurries out of the room. When she is done, she returns his attention to you. Please express my condolences as well. I just only heard the news. Mark was an important part of the community. If you know how important. The memoirs that Cammy just hand you should contain all the information her absolute requires from our chief in the field. To require my service in the future, you know where to find me. Until then, good day. Ah, I am glad. I am glad. I th This is why I like playing Shadowrun games. There's always this sense of community. You know? Ah, there's my tech guy. There's the... There's the lovely Dewey guy that was chasing the drone that's now dead. There's the dog that's following me around. And there's our suit of armor we fished. Ah, oh, looks like everyone's here. Trashe! Now it appears that you are apprehensive with his eyes and bloodshot, his expression. Did you get the information? About Green Winters? Yes, Sport Dodd. He gave me the memory stick. 
Let us see what his agent had to say. Perhaps the satchel is now restricted from hand and it's flooding the computer terminal. It navigates a series of command line menus and a wall of amber text floods the screen. I'm just chance it. Mouth in the words that his eyes flit back and forth. Hmm, word jazzy agent, they are blind ventus to a hotel in Tespo of Kia Estrad Dragon Chip. The house Estrad Das Chesarhal, it is narrated, factually nestled deep in the heart of Dragon Chip. It appears the winters is held up there. Recently, they have, there was some contention between two gangs over the control of this neighborhood. Due to the gang violence, the agent refused to follow winters inside of the hotel, but confirms that he is still inside. He just points a rifle over his shoulder with a single spare motion. Here, are people, we have a hotel to raid. Lorian died to pause, exchanged lips with Paul. Just a moment, Agent. I was rising from his chair, drawing himself to full height. Even so, he has to crane his neck to look at her in the eye. You're an excellent soldier, and nobody questions your competence in the field. Your loyalty to the steam is an excellent. You're truly commendable. That said, we believe that Cachet is the right choice to lead the team. There's a long pause before Idris speaks. When she does, her voice comes out dull and flat. What? Don't mistake this decision for reprimand. Why not transcend your contribution to the team to be invaluable? But we all know that she was dropped to put in the soldier in charge. Her speech for a clenched thief. Her words are measured by her expressions of This is unbelievable. You want to put a rookie in the charge? Again? Don't you people learn from mistakes? Joshe is the lazy way still alive, Ida. He kept us together. He did a Saturday in one piece. I am the one who shot crits with my rifle, while you two are support. Making him your golden boy? She sounds tired, resonated, but above all this point, it's more your flush state idiocy at what, isn't it? It's a mark of lazy. Ida's voice tightens for a moment, she controlled. Her control slips and her face contorts in grief. Yeah. And look for their daughter. She turns to her full height. Let me give you a piece of advice. In the field, only two things matter the mission and survival. Everything else is a distraction. Your ridiculous politics have no place on a shadow run. <laughs> Dietrich manages a smile. What did I say? When Jim and have a history of strong political views. <laughs> Still, let's put an end to this. And as skills and experience lead the steam, Crochet on the hand was appointed by Monarch as a joke. If uh, he take the lead, abide by that, but I want to hear his, each of you say it. And then I crawl with you either, or do as the group wishes. You stay out of this. She stabs you an armored finger into your chest hard. The moment she raises a hand to you, Dante's ears lay back and lets out a droll growl. Reflection stitches half step back. I didn't remember what Dante has to say. As for my part, she we saved their lives back then. You may not believe it, but he did. The way I see it, that means I follow him his lead a while longer. Gloria's voice is uncharacteristically gentle. I trust in Monitor's judgment, therefore I trust in Crochet's judgment. I like her. I like her red eyes. There is something about the just the pure red in her eyes. I don't know. They might be cybernetic, but there's a beauty in it. This transaction is finished, Adrian. Yoshe will take Marantus place as leader of his team. <laughs> I am not doing this. I am not making enemies. I am very split between these two. I'll do whatever it takes to keep the team alive and Marcus legacy alive. That includes taking your advice, Ager. And what, handing over command to her? No. We're in our heads, what we do, but whatever we stumble through, I'll let us through. Now I'm not your light with his head. Alright, fine. Let's do this in charge again. It's time to move on. We can talk about this later. Either for now, we have to more important things to do. Yeah, okay. I've transferred the information that we received 
from Alger to the computer terminal in the next room. It used to be Director's personal workstation, for shame. Now it is yours. Why just get the var variety of notes and the say it's in time machine? I was just reviewing her notes when you have the time. With hunting, I, either, I will either or wait your turn. That's for the tip. Alright. You can now command the team you now command the team of Shadowrams. When travel into a new mission location you will be able to choose which members of your team you will bring. And modify the loadout for the run. When members of your team become permanently incapacitated, they will automatically they will be automatically attracted for emergency manual to care. This will be patched up and ready for action next time you return to your safe house. Avoid this loss of firepower by always carrying some Bumova trauma kits into the field. This can be purchased in the street dogs office in the Lesbos. Alright, let's go see the workstation. The mission computer. Yeah, workstation, mission computer. The command center for your team's operations and your last link to the memory of Monica Shatha. The thoughts and words live on in this machine. At times it's easy to forget that she's gone. A true blue tone of workstation main new fills the stream. Blinking message in the upright corner and notifies that you have zero hundred messages. Ah, oh, the BBS. Killer in Seattle? What? Anyone else written about this? Since they got a Lone Star contract and they can't catch this guy. This Emerald City Ripper! Has been on a spree and so far no one has a clue. Pathetic. There's something that happened on my block to some rich land abstract him down and stopped him. Shows a good state payroll cops are Wait, mate. Mate what is this? How why am I playing games that are so so seen to the future? Ah yeah. Some vigilantes on my block. How do state payroll police are? Mate. This this is the shit that's happening in America right now with fucking uh, squatters. People have stopped calling the police in New York to deal with squatters. Why? Because the squatters will just pull out. Because the cops will help the criminals, and then the criminals will produce some recipe or some shit that they get from when they order coffee once, as a proof of we live there. And boom! Now it's a civil matter and the police can't do shit. So that's why you just, you know, get a couple of lads, get your neighbors. You walk into your house. Yes, there's criminals inside, but you just walk in. You got your neighbors. You break a knee. You break two knees. Why? And then when the cops come, they ask around. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. As a matter of fact, I'm blind in my left eye. And 63% blind in my right eye. I haven't even seen you approach. <laughs> Who says it's a he? They don't have any leads. <laughs> I'll be in Seattle next week. What would that for you about this ripper? No, see, but taking him out for a date with my vote to MA2100. I'm sure that once that were we were waiting for him when blast is doing. <laughs> that man was told Pro Shot. Who is Bloods? And I, I think that's a name. I'm still recovering the little arts. This hot daughter just trashed my land through the hosting server. So like some kid pissed over his cartoons getting cancelled. Left a bunch of garbage files all over my disc. And I'm clearing them up with all of them. I should make you pass a dumbass desk before you're allowed to deck in this now. <laughs> Step up your security. Write some white IC programs if you can. At least make kids' hair stand on end a few hours next time he tries it. Imagine that your IC is quick. Everything I see is no good if you can't catch up with an intruder. I find that I take advantage on a regular basis. Clockwork. Always running. ASCV. The smiley bandit. Strikes again! Huh? I clockwork. If you two are finished, I did have IC on the thing. Tried the whole thing. Now, the grocery store across the street was piggybacking on my land and they left an unsecured jack point in the bathroom stall. All this hell maintenance jack in a fuse box and my security ignored it. Mystery salt. Shadow land is using your personal tech support board lumens. 
Let's <laughs> see if it's the only way you're going to learn. Ah, uh, let me just go on the dark web to, you know, uh, ask about how to solve a, how to change a light bulb. Hell yeah. Team personal file notes. No. I'll read them later. We will read those next time. For now, we're going on this mission. We're going to see this guy that hit that. Why is it? Have we learned nothing from God in that time? Mm. This is why you need a fixer. Fixes take care of these things. A similar team traveled to Das Chasen House Hotel to search for the Green Mintus. Alright, who is in my team? Don't crash, you piece of shit. I fucking dare you. I fucking dare you crash. I fucking dare you. See what happens. The drug pit. Das Chasen House Hotel and Nightclub. Crown Jewel Dragon Type. The wealthiest chain in Berlin. Opening the door to the ground level dance club is like bashing your head into a wolf sound. Flashing lights stab your eyes and the air is filmed with cheap sentinel and engine grease. Everything here is strapped up to 11. A playground for the numb. Green Winters is somewhere in this building. You steal yourself with the sensory assault and step inside. The team makes a quick check of the weapons and follows you into the dust chasm hell. Yeah, I got no modifications. That's just pleasant though. Last notification mark spent. Bruh. Bruh, what am I looking at? What am I looking at? This man got more this man that side he's a fucking He's a servitron from what's it called? Uh, Warhammer 4 g The troll board in the door might be the shortest you've ever seen and the thickest. Despite the bounce musing around his face buried in a comic book. Hey, I'm looking at him. Chill. Looks up news your tertiary once over and says, Welcome to Dad's Trevor, now in the new management. Again. There's no Trevor, just go in and get your fix. That's torn at the bow of the they kill you. He brought his face back into his boat while tapping the meatly thumb on the black foot. Slip slung from his belt, a high powered stun gun. This point as you meet her up. Have fun. This is a tail, right? I want a room. His eyes never leave his dark. They look like the front desk. Hotel's closed, renovations. You want some of the trash or somewhere else? Maybe we should uh, take the room to post now, you know, for my open skin. Two hundred? Alright, here we go. Go to the French. He's hanging out in the VIP balcony. Way back on your right. He's the only one that he delivered and get you up there. Won't be cheap though. Brother to the saber arm. For Zappy. Okay, so. It was the. It was probably not the best way to do it, but fuck it. The music out here on the floor is way too loud for comfort. The scene going on at the bar is even louder. The dealer on duty stands impassive behind the bar. Desperate looking young woman is pleading with apparently to little effect. All right, so okay. I'm ready to explain. I'm ready to explain how this works to you one more time. I get my cash, and you get your cram. No cash, no clam. Period. I used this character before. I have this character saved on my PC. <laughs> I have this picture saved on my PC. <laughs> but I need it, Rona. Come on, her words. Come on, and let's put my own skin. Sunken eyes and a trembling lip. All point to early symptoms of a withdrawal. I have cash. I totally do. It's up, up to me, but you guys won't let me up there, get it. What those are the new mansion, beautiful. You don't have a room anymore. When I was up there, you might as well forget about it. But that was all I had, and you know I have to get it right soon. You know, maybe we could work out a trade, cram for service. Service? Understand the slowly shows in the end one's face, her eyes away. Come on, you dead to be fucking kidding me. You want to cram or not? She sets her jaw and looks at the chest in her pallid face. This, that ain't gonna happen, Shema. Not now, not ever. The bartender. I do about a half hour before the shirt set in. When that turns, when that happens, you know where to find me. He turns to another customer with a smirk, leaving the desperate can one trembled against the bar. Alright, so she is basically a cheaper way of doing it. 
What was this? I can inspect. I expand a bottle of straw from a crawl you've guessed that tends at least 50% water. Serious up to you. I left an abject misery plaster across her face. Leave me alone, okay? I'm not problems to deal with. Sounds like new management stole your property. And it's a question for me. And I'll help you get it back. You can trust this man. You can. Really? That'd be. That'd be incredible. Rip started up with a fat. That seeming smile. I really need that money. I left some things in there, really. Personal stuff. I can be very discreet. My stuff should be in the room 304 where me and Najee and Sarah were standing until, well, you know. I'll wait in here until you. When you get back down. So, what did you need to know? Okay, what you tell me about the janitor taking over the hotel? Bad guys, I mean like real bad guys. The janitor used to run this place wasn't all that bad. They kept the cramp flowing, and the prices weren't too high. They never hassled me as long as I kept buying. The new guys killed all of them and took over. Now I'm dealing with the assholes like Krona. The floor manager French had a thing for my girl Sarah. He was always coming on to her, no matter how many times she said no. I haven't seen her since the takeover. She won't stop asking me about her. That's real creep. That's all I can think about. Steer clear of the new guys when I can. She steals a glance over her shoulder, crone or stone. I should. I'll tell you why. Have you ever heard of a guy called Green Vintus? No, I don't think. Oh, wait. I bumped into him here a few days ago. I'm on him with his uh, son. His name sounds like a lot of. like a kind of chewing gum. I don't think I remember seeing him leave, so he's probably holed up in his room. I'm pretty sure there's still some people up there. Once the games are either locked themselves in. What can you tell me about the layout of the hotel? Well, it's a nice enough place, you know, for a factory. Let's see, okay, the second floor is security station. Lots of high-tech stuff up there. And I heard stories about the penthouse level. Something about a sealed vault. There's supposed to be something real valuable in there, but nobody knows. Doesn't stop them from talking about it, though. Thank you for your help. Hey, don't worry. Hey, sweetie, over here. The body with me. Ooh. Alright, that guy is overwatching shit. Prime. Hmm. Alright. Yes, we gotta go talk to. Oh, shit. Don't look at that, boys. Don't look at that, boys. Don't look to the left. Pen to the floor. Manager is too expensive for this neighborhood and too bad if. To be his suit is a name tag French. Yeah, what you need. Reluctantly, he shifts his attention away from the elvish dancer swaying in front of him. I had into the hotel. But I was close, uh, we're a few meeting left, you know, for bugs. Can I speak to your manager? Show me, Aiden. The guy let you know said you were close to renovations. Do your renovation. What's to you? Close, close. That's what we are. I could just kill him. All right, we're living. We're living. Now we. There's our alternatives. Ah, uh, we get a party girl. I am betting we can use her as a distraction. Our drone in the corner. The drone in the corner is a model stim junk, you know, wild eyes and nervous energy. She greets you with a smile so wide as to border on the test. Hey, hey, good looking. You want a party? Excuse me? Down, party with me. You're about a cramp. Sure, why not do the crabs on me? Just a cramp, right? I love a dead spoon share. There's no thanks. The last sweetheart. Hmm. Okay, so. I can. Probably purchase tram from this guy. Give it to her. Tell her to go fuck with Frank. Let's see how that works out. Tram, show me what you got. 150. Alright, we'll see. All right, we'll see how this one works. All right, bought it for one fitting. 
Give her Sherman and the crabs on me. Hey, Sharon's forward. With arms with Blink Manash, she snaps the crab in hell from your hand. With practice, he's the draw, snaps the chap off the ampion and raises it to take a hit. With a practice hand, she injects the squirts of the orange liquid into the corner of her eye. Her whole body begins to shiver as the drug kicks in. Oh, that's so much better. I feel, I feel alive. How do you feel about the guy that runs this place? Oh, they're terrible. The worst, loud, violent, drug kids who grab your hands. Well, they have the cramps, so what you gonna do? Then used to run this place, now they were classy. Yeah, this is awesome stuff. It was like cramming, no record a baby. That's a little bit of it was dreamy. How long have you been partying here? A real long time. I go where cram flows. <laughs> you know? And this is a real place, well, it's a better place before that. Take no, that's not too bad now. Heard anything about the hotel upstairs? Oh, yeah, lots and lots about people. Say so it's uh, haunted. So there's this little girl who died in one of the rooms back in the early 2000s. I think she like drowned the soft game. Maybe she fell out a window. No, wait, I did wrong. It was a little boy. Anyway, he haunts the hotel, I think. Maybe it was a giant bug. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I remember I was hearing footsteps of a crazy troll running around in his underpants. I don't think he had a name. He just ran around and broke things. It was kind of wild before the new Jared took over. Come back to the time, there's more crime when you do. Alright, so that was useless. Alright, so we will now load a save. <laughs> so I can save money. What can I say? I like my money. Oh, if I need gang or corporate, fuck, you know. Unbelievable. 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 Maybe I could have just pre-prepped. Brought my own supply. About the reservations. So how do I... Now I look like a concierge. Point of paper to the bus, someone starts trouble, gym, taste laws, that's, that's all I do. Now what's it gonna be? Uh, summoning strength gang. Anyone else who like to drink? Ah, uh, well. Alright, so we get a couple of uh, them conversation options. Alright. We'll just. And it was that fast. Uh, chain. All right, very helpful. Now let's do talk to this girl. Did we even get something for talking to that woman? I don't think. I get into the hotel. We're not here. Yeah. All right, here's the window. All right, you know what? That was open. My, make it quick. Yeah. Time to make some money. Baking, making. Making, baking. Or is it baking? Baking, baking, or making, baking? Fuck, what does the engineer from T-Force 2 say? Holy shit. Uh, well, seems like a casual sound, but that's about it. Can wrappers and new syringes are a little flawed. Can rails are unsplitted and sticking. It would appear that clothes on. None of this isn't a high priority for the hotel staff. Well, hotel. Right, so on room two. Two or something. No matter. We'll just go into every room, kill everyone, steal everything. Ooh, access safe. Ooh. Okay, so we need, uh, need a little bit of a. Uh, password. Money. Alright, boys, we just made our money back. Hell yeah. I like it when I make my money back.
All right, so there's a safe. Oh, there's an open door. 106. Hmm, where have I heard that before? We're just going and stealing everything. I don't... Hmm, the trauma kit. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I like my trauma kits. I like my revives. Never use them. Oh, bathroom. I wonder who we're gonna find in the... Wait. Crumbling wall. The section of the wall seems to be bundling under its own weight. The Asian wallpaper that lines the rest of the hallway has long since peeled away, revealing the structure of the wall underneath. Ah, yeah, baby. While the underlying structure is reinforced with steel support struts, you can see the signs of rust and metal fatigue everywhere. The entire wall looks like you could just chill away if you, if enough force was applied. Not the shorter check a wall. You slam to the wall and give it away, and gives away with a crunch. All right, let's see what's in here. Searching through the letter desk, you find a small Sith leather bound journal. Leafing through the pages of the book, revealing only a couple of entries. Each of them is strolled in front of bearing legible handwriting. Crew doodles filling up margins. Read the first entry. Okay, okay, okay. I know Ed is up to something. Like, I heard him today talking to the guy who works in the kitchen, asking him where the clean splash was at. I've seen in this room. The dude never cleaned that day in his life. I'm gonna follow him tomorrow and figure out what his deal is. Maybe he's just selling mouthwash to the hobos that block down the old bus stop. I knew it. Right, you know, there's some yesterday. I was up on the third floor, just the vending machine down. He was at a salt calf. We came up and went out of order to the out of order of tree and he punched in the toad. Didn't know I was watching the chatting. Well, I ain't so stupid. Two, four, seven, eight, and I'm gonna stay out and find out what he's doing there. Two, four, seven, eight. <laughs> this is what. Let's do this. Out of commission retreat. Gotcha, nothing here. Two, four, seven, eight. Hey, don't you res don't you resident sleep on me. Don't. Don't you resident sleep for me. I am not going... Hmm. How can I... I can't just... I can't just do something cool. I... There is nothing to do.
I'm pretty sure I could have find them that way. Uh, admin services. Oh, but yes, I need a password. Yeah. Oh well. Let's let's see if we can just find the password. Anyone hiding in the bathroom? Money. Maintenance key fob. Hmm. Where did I need this? Probably. I guess. What is it? Allows out to maintenance closets on hotel floors. Hmm. Well, well, well. Don't mind if I do. Back to floor one we go. Maintenance closet. <laughs> Money. Oh, look at this. 57 bucks. Let's go. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. Third floor. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm guessing this is the do not open. You can just put a sign saying do not open somewhere and expect me not to open it. We got cram. We got drugs. Alright, time to open. There is a... There is a scorpion. There is a scorpion. There is a scorpion. The fuck am I meant to say here? Oh, it probably won't kill us all. There is a note saying, his food is in the crisp per draw. See you next week, Steven. Look at it. Who keeps that thing as a pet? I just murdered an innocent. I gained nothing from that. That thing was innocent. Alright, so just encode the cred stick. Uh, her teddy bear. Uh, and sign quick book. Yeah, we got her shit. Optional, Rich, give her back the shit. Hmm, very long, very big room. The fuck happened here? Well, obviously a gunfight. The floor at the end of this room is beginning to cave in and the trick of light spills through the cracks in the floorboards from another room below. With a little force, you'd probably open a big hole and have to drop down to the second floor. Yeah. I am interested to see where this leads. What the fuck? You okay, buddy? Please don't hurt me. I'm just a lion cut. The curtains dart and eyes are wide open. Behind them you see pure animal terror. Oh, if you let me know, I won't tell anyone to press. What are you so afraid of? What happened? Wait, wait, you, you, you one of the drugs? What, you one of the drugs guys in there? I mean, just, just thought. Take your time. I am not going to hurt you. I just thought you were one of them, you know, the janitors that took over and shut up the place. I, I worked. Let's say I worked. I worked for the previous owners. Uh, when the shooting started, I shut myself in here. They, whoever they are, I haven't figured out how to override my keys yet. It's It's been a day and a half. I don't know how much longer I can think Who's the Sif by the sink? Uh, that's the head chef. Village. He took the hit to the chest when the raiders... Uh, when they raid this floor, I thought I could stop. What the fuck? What the fuck? 
But I just still have to blade them, but then I couldn't. And you're right next to the watching fridge, don't you think it makes sense for the to drag the body in there to, not to leave it here? Sorry, here. Yeah, thanks. Mmm, he was eating the son of a bitch, probably. Uh, can you tell me anything about this place? Um, uh, I think there's some sort of shop shop up in room 401, or low level straight dart stuff. I delivered room service there one day when he was short staffed. What I saw, they opened the door, stared shit out of me. People hooked up the tubes and stuff. Uh, 5870 was the room, Joe, if you want to take a look. Alright. Hey, uh, won't you? I mean, you're not gonna leave me out here. Uh, I thought you had the guys outside, you should be able to. Did I actually? Thank you. That was done. Did we actually take care of it? I am pretty sure we didn't come from that direction. Yeah, we did take care of it. Yeah. Yeah, we took care of it. Uh, he probably ate his friends. Oh, he's co worker. What can I say? Cannibalism. It goes hand in hand. Uh, third floor hotel. I need to see what's in this bathroom. Locked. Okay. I don't want to see what's in the bathroom. We're going to the penthouse floor, then we're going to floor 9. Five oh one, baby. Hmm, maybe I should go give her back her shit first. Let's see what happens then. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, but but I think I deserve some credits for my effort. Oh, yeah, 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 I can get behind it. She passed her time to the encoder credit stick to your for her, and the display comes to life. She passed it to your credit stick, you need 100 neon, is instant transfer from her account to yours. There, all done. She breathes a sound of relief, then surveys the items that you retrieved from. Thank you so much. I don't think I've ever seen this stuff again in front of you. She drops the encoder credit stick in her hand again and checks her balance for smile burns. You helped me when no one else would. That means a lot. Enjoy the money you earned it. Alright, so this party girl. Now we can give her drugs. Excuse me? Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay, so we got nothing. Hmm, maybe if I give her enough, something happens. Alright, now we go to the penthouse. Then we go floor four. But first, I have three. I have three of these, which means I can put my intelligence. I have zero in biotech. I have zero in biotech, and I need three for whatever the fuck that shit was. So, we will not be putting anything into biotech. Ah. It is what it is. This. This is a room, not maintenance. What? Where's the maintenance closet? This is a long hallway. You know what long hallways are in turn-based RPG shooters? There is no... Maybe there's a toilet right there. Hmm, let's see. Any reason for me to do this? Wait a bloody second. We have a code for something on the third floor. Let's go back to the third floor. Yeah, yeah. 
I don't think we've used the toad for something on the third floor. Pretty sure it was the bathroom. Ah, here it is. Alright, so the toad. Two, four, seven, eight. Oh, man was crooked. Man was crooked. Oh, we got some chairs. I like chairs. Do you like jazz? I like me some jazz, but I, I prefer Kevin Kazzy. What can you say, I'm a man of classics? Not floor four. Now we can uh, start doing things. Ooh, look at this ladder. No, a frag grenade. Of course. How can I be so foolish and to believe that we were gonna get something as simple as a ladder? Alright, nothing in there. What about the rest of the floor? Alright, four or five. Room four or five. Five eight seven zero for the dock. Let's see what we can find here. Oh, damn! Damn! Look at this, man! I have no idea what it, uh, the, what the fuck he thought was gonna happen. I have a gun. <laughs> Oh, they expanded the adjacent apartments. Gotcha. Your glory. Go say hi. Assistant. So, doctor's here. Sound damage and bleeding. Oh, no. She got the lines. Minus 2 AP. She can't do shit. What? what how much? Damn, I suffered at 19. Brother. Can't believe I suffered at 19. Missed 85. Misses 85. Misses 85. I am I am pissed. Activate yet. Just, just rush. Just rush. Seven. One damage. He moves. He shoots. Misses. Pop goes the wheeze. Pop goes the wee. Pop goes the wheeze. There we go. Alright, so we got some uh, free shit. <laughs> Ooh, auto steam injector hyper. A schematic for it. Ooh, it's a, it's a level 2. Eh, what can I say? I am not a big fan of consumable items. Alright, so that was a nice, nice injection of experience into me system now what is the door code one eight one nine eight nine sesame open hmm no traps hmm surprising lack of traps Ah, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me, dead guy's dead? The scene is eerie familiar, the dead man is still jacked into his smoldering computer. His face returned into a mask of pain, he blows smoke spools from his data jack, like Monica. And there's something else, the man in his outline is wrong. He takes a moment to realize the sent him. His back is bent on an impossible angle. Jesus. But like him also hard, he broke his own spine. 
Is that even possible? Draw just with a twisted form on the floor. You tell me. I don't know as well as Rob and the peel at his face. Match the description that Aunt gave us. It's Rain Winters. She straightened his glance and mad to chew at the for This would happen to monitor. As perspective would have, which actor I didn't attempt to prevent it. <laughs> Hello, Wedro. Yeah, I'm getting the edited in glance at a broken corpse, and you can see the uncertainly drawn in her eyes. I've seen biofeedback deaths before. Never seen anything like this. Kneeling, on the, kneeling to inspect the body, you find a smearing of blood under carpet under Winters his right arm. Moving the arm, you find a number written across the floor. 91612. Use your PDA to take a picture of the number and the body and step away. Damn. Oh. Oh, what is this? Hmm, more of the painting. There is nothing here. Ah, what about this painting? Oh, look at this. Look at that. Hmm, and I put Hans Mountain, 2011. In a small, ooh. Ooh, a five number combination, eh? Nine. One six one two. All right, I didn't read what it said. All right, so So we found a bundle of old discs. Well, time to answer his vid phone. Hey there, Chief. No I know, but I have a proposition for you. I'm listening. You probably know that they building is a new management, right? You judge by the fresh corpse that I'm seeing strewn all over the home. I guess you don't like the new jazz any better than I do. Well, I'd like to make you an offer. You helped cover my escape, and I'll get you into the steel vault in the floor. But aren't the leader of the gang that used to run this place. Trust me, it's still secure. Set up security protocols myself. Last night they brought in the crack, yeah, it came out stretching. I haven't found too many volunteers since then. You done my... Alright, you're that then? I'm uh, being understatement. Chum. But more right to say, I'm THE Decker, in these parts at least. My hand on the Matrix is Blitz. Maybe you heard of me. What do you mean, haven't heard? We literally read about him. The Blitz, one long, I'd like to be talking to the fan. Tell me about the gang, just to run the place. They pretty much lost the switch at hearts. I pretty much ran dry and cheaper until a few days ago. They haven't been a pleasant bunch, but they know better than Jackass we got in here. What's the deal with the new gen? They're terrible people. Real bad guys, all of them. Uh, I don't know. I don't mean to rush you, but we got sort of a... Uh, we'll just we'll start later. Maybe, you know, after we get that beautiful murder starts. Why are you in the hotel? How do you have access to the steward system? I was in the hotel when it got taken off, and then it began to decide to keep me on staff. I guess you call. They put me in charge of set matrix security. Uh, I may be one of the hardest detectives in Berlin, but I bullet that they had will kill me just as dead as anyone else. Given the circumstances, I don't see how I could refuse. Alright, back to business. What's in the vault? He probably helped them out. Sold out. Gear money, you know, lots of other stuff. You don't know, do you? Well, no, I mean, i never actually seen what's in the vault, not personally. Lord, buddy, I just set up the major security for the thing. The boss don't tell me shit. He was a little paranoid, no? But he has adamant that he wanted me to rid of some real killer I see. So must be something valued now. Uh, sure, well, I'll meet you. A room 405 on the penthouse floor. Some rendezvous with me and I'll be take you to the vault. Yeah, sure. I mean, we... We read about him slightly on the on the trip on the BBS. 
So yeah, I feel pretty confident that he's with us. I mean, look at him, he even has a picture and all. Just over here, buddy. Hey, room 405. Alright. Molly is Blitz. He's our decker. Hey, I know you tell me always been a good judge character. Since we're meeting in a room for me, I introduce myself. Blitz, deck extraordinaire at your service. To shame. You all just around the corner. Once we get there, I can learn with a few clicks of it the keypad. Build myself a back door when I wrote the security system. Never hurts to be careful. Always have backups. Alright, so 501 is open to us. So what's inside 501? I am interested. Damn, real nice. Oh, money. Advanced, yeah. Send this to Stash, yeah. I'll sell it. I'll sell it, yeah. I don't use drones. I'm not a drone guy. Yeah. I mean, not at least not, not in the games, since I like to keep my shit simple. If I have a drone, at that point, I have a gun. Why do I need a drone? Prepare for combat? Knew it. Knew it. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. Oh my god, he's so adorable. He he wants to he wants to hide. Oh my goodness. Look at him. Perish. Well time for the ruder 100 s 16 damage down the middle. Get him. Get him, Glory. <laughs> can I? Yes, I can get that. Oh, he has an engram. Oh, what's this? Bliss Tram. Ooh. He's been uh, slightly on the update. Grenade. Ah, shit. Ow. Well, shoot him dead. Don't you just love it when the sniper rifle works in a completely different system from all the other guns? The further away the target is, the easier they are to, you know, murder. Alright, open the door. Alright, here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Done. Wait, what? When did they get that thing installed? The fuck? The fuck is this? The fuck is this? <laughs> uh, okay, beautiful. Ah, uh, beautiful. There's a mini tank. Uh, no, I don't to steal. Uh, stand out out outside and shoot it, strategy. Steel Lynx drone. So yeah, we're definitely staying outside and shooting it. Yo, Decker, do your job. Uh, bad news. <laughs> we need a rigger. Ah, oh, that's it's just beautiful, you know. Uh, what's the, what's the worst that can happen? So he's really just gonna stay inside and shoot me. All right, all right. Bitch. What is actual inhuman accuracy? Well, it, it is a drone. What am I expecting here? Fair play? Misses. Stationary target. Misses. Alright, so... Um, boost you. Ah, 
I shit. Uh, could go with the hope for the best strategy. Alright, it takes me two to get in there. And probably two to get a fuck out. So we can turn there and hope for the best. The fuck is that? <laughs> Destroy. The fuck is that and how much HP does it have? 70. Here I thought it was gonna be a threat. Okay, okay, so first things first, do we destroy that? Now that we don't have to worry about it, uh, beat the shit out of this game. Misses. Four damage. Four damage. I feel slightly scared. But you know, what's a man to do? Aim shot. Uh, aim shot. You know, if we're lucky. Gotcha, gotcha. Just, just throw your missiles at him. Alright, the troll is dead. And for this, we just out... We outrange the auto turret. Because of course we do. You know, we have squad sight, so we can just... So we can just do one of those. <laughs> Alright, is that it? He had a troll, he had this much to I hope he had some good shit. There's a drone. Well, I thought I'm still all this shit. Send the stash. Alright, was this butts? Drug Formula Jazz. Alright, what do we do with about the drone? <laughs> the drone, which seems, okay, we take the drone. We take everything that isn't nailed down. Now we open the safe. What is it? What is it? Money and, and? Nitro. That's all I had. Fucking drug. Hey, we got loads of money. I am extremely satisfied with the results. We cleared out the entire building. All the optionals have been taken care of, and now I can go grab security. And never touch charisma again. Why is that so large? And why did I take Shadowrun? Never mind, we're roleplaying. That's why we stayed Shadowrunner. That's why the fact that Shadowrunner is the most useless one out of all of them. 100% of the time, Shadowrunner is the most useless. Now I, I, I already gave her the bliss, so I don't really care. We leave. Our mission complete. Hey, thanks for the assist. Can't tell you how happy I am to leave this place, man. Help, help, must have been to be stuck in you. There was no picking to tell you. Say, you wanna have a uh, need a uh, know a hot deck yeah? Would you? Because I'm trying to find myself fun. As it happens, which would you use the deck? Excellent, I promise. You won't regret it. Blitz is joined a theme. What can I say? This will be end stream, lads. This will be end stream. Your teammates are back to the nearest you, but. Station 20 minutes later, you know, trip back to Klazba, leaving a filth of dragon keep far behind. But the image of Green Winter's twisted corpse continues to linger in your mind. You lift one of the discs you pulled from Winter's safe to the left. Your fortune's dance off its surface. With luck, you'll soon have the answers that you were looking for. 
And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we're going to have to call it. Two advancements available. We'll discuss those next time. Save game. Create new save. And exit. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to thank you all for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. I do hope I can see you next time. And, much as always, until next time, how are you doing, ladies and gentlemen? See you.